Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna be playing some more of our 10 to New Game Plus. We're doing all the fiend tales. Uh, let me get the sound going for you guys so you can hear it. Also, hello cousin. Hi, how are you doing? I'm so glad you could stop by. So I can wish you a Merry Christmas. Are y'all doing anything fun for Christmas? Um, also it's storming like super bad here. So if the stream suddenly dies, assume that the storm got me um, and that I was carried away like Dorothy and I'm in Oz now. So just assume I'm off having like grand adventures in a fantasy land. And I don't know if the mic will pick any of it up, but it might, it's actually kind of like loud and windy. I'm good, got free Sunday to prepare for Christmas. Nice, 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 nice. And my last day of work is Thursday, and then I'm off on Friday all the way until after New Year's. So, long week. Long week off for the holiday. Okay. Mom and I are going to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra on Friday. Oh my god, really? And then Candlelight at Epcot on Monday. Oh, that sounds so sweet. We did Epcot last year for Christmas. It was so nice. We did the, like the um, Christmas kitchen around the world in Epcot. Loved it. It was so good. It was so good. So I hope you'll have a really nice Disney Christmas. They do it up. They do it up. We're doing a cruise for Christmas this year, so I'll get to see how uh, Carnival does Christmas. We've, we've done many, many, many Carnival cruises, but never, um, never over Christmas time. So I'm excited for that. Only got two days of work between Christmas and New Year's. Yes. That's how it should be. Who the heck should be working at that time? Nobody needs you working at that time, you know? I think maybe maybe only grocery store employees. Everyone else should not be working. Super excited to be Epcot because all the walls at the front are finally down. Really? Finally? Oh my God. <laughs> they were all up when we were there. <laughs> it was a little bit silly looking, but you know, you know, you know. <laughs> but I knew that when we went there, it was gonna be crazy like that. That's so cool. That's so cool they're finally done. I hope the remodel and stuff looks nice. I don't know anything about it. I'll have to Google some pictures after stream because I'm sure um, I'm sure everybody's already like posted pictures and things of how that looks now. You'll take pictures for me? Okay, good, good. Yeah, take some pictures. Show me how it looks. Because I don't know. I didn't even realize the walls were down, you know? Alrighty. Alright, you guys. Let's move to the game. We can still chat, of course. We can still chat because we gotta do, we gotta level up more fiends. We gotta level up Boris here. I know everything. Honestly, I've heard mixed reviews from influence influencers, but I'm staying optimistic. I feel like there's always mixed reviews from influencers, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, that's a whole thing. The big found foundation is gone? Really? That's surprising. I mean, obviously I know nothing. I know nothing. I'm definitely not caught up on the Disney influence scene. Well, that's not true. I saw reviews of Wish, <laughs> but not of the parks, not of the parks, because I just don't plan to go. Oh, the big fountain. Why would they get rid of the fountain? That was really sad. Hopefully whatever's there instead looks nice. What the heck? I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, hello Koneko with the first. How are you? Are you feeling better today? Did you get a good night's sleep last night, friend? I hope you did. Wait, did I put stuff? Wait, did I put accessories on Boris? Okay, yes, yes, yes. I did your I did his equipment. Um I did his equipment. Let's do standard cup. Yes. Okay, let's see it. Let's see if Boris can rock it. I can't believe they got rid of the fountain. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But you know, Epcot's always like the future world, especially in Epcot, is always kind of like, you know, they struggle. They don't really know what to do. They don't really know what to do. Thanks, I'm feeling better today. Oh my god, good. I'm so glad. Sometimes it's just like that, you know. 
Sometimes it's just like that. Like, I had to have an extra coffee today. I just woke up so tired, and I don't know. Because I don't think I slept badly last night. I kind of slept badly the night before. But, like, yesterday I wasn't feeling too crazy. But today I was. So I'd have a second coffee. So hopefully I don't get jittery. <laughs> but I did just finish it, so yeah. I had one heck of a week, so I deserved the break. Of course you did. Of course you did. Hopefully this next week will be easy, because it's about to be Christmas. So it can be just full of fun things. Fun, chill, awesome things. Nothing too crazy this week. Uh, Trap Pod S. Okay. Yes, we do want that. Okay, who are we fighting now? Uh, Flying Circus. Okay. Let's go. Get him, Boris. Get him. Boris pretty strong. Maybe he can beat up um, Forest Watch. Yeah, he's like destroying everything. Pretty good. Yeah, cousin, I'll um I'll take pictures on Carnival and you take pictures at Epcot and we'll swap them. And see what the, the places look like for Christmas. I'm still like kind of reeling that they got rid of the fountain. That's like insane to me. Okay, who are we fighting now? Uh do we need well I mean I guess we could always use a special. Okay, what do we got now? Oh, Forest Watch. Okay, let's see if he can beat up Forest Watch. Can he do it? Or is Amorphous Gel just still going to be a problem for us? You know, with how we're doing the tournament over and over, I'm kind of surprised Amorphous Gel hasn't done. Um, Oversold, but I guess we don't we we lose to them most of the times. So that's probably why he is not oversold. We don't beat him up. Okay, okay. His just regular attack does do some damage. That's good. That's good. I wish they wouldn't keep doing the telekinesis over and over. Really, I just wish I could control the monsters. We'd win so much better if I could control them. Uh-oh. Does this work on Boris? It totally works on Boris. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no, Boris can't beat them any better than anybody else. <laughs> uh, poor Boris. Sorry, 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 dude. Sorry. Yeah, he's still susceptible to the squish. Uh, okay. Let's see if that was enough levels. Nope, okay, he needs another level. Um, what if? What if, what if? I mean, Boris is pretty strong. What if instead of Iron Duke and Adamantite with the shell and stuff, what if we give him, um, what if we make him a mage? Oh, not Iron Duke. Just kidding. Ring. Yeah, what if we do that? What if we do that? Nikki, hello! How are you, friend? It's going good. We're having a lovely, beautiful Christmas stream. Oh, this is, by the way, this is the last stream before Christmas. This is the Christmas stream. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay, what if we just, I just want to try with him as a mage with the flare and stuff. And see if he can, if he can be smart and beat up Forest Watch. Flare that bitch. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Don't, don't waste your turns. Boris, don't. I try to coach these. I try to coach these guys. And they just, they just can't. Do not waste your turns with freaking telekinesis. Don't waste your turns healing either. My god, Boris. There we go. That's how you do it. Now do that again.
Yeah, the amorphous gel dies so dramatically. All of his animations take forever. But there we go. Boris did get him. Two flares. That's exactly what I want you to do. Repeat that again, Boris, every time. Unless you... Well, he leveled up, so actually he, we're going to go watch his tail. Just kidding. <laughs> we're going to go watch his fiend tail now. We're going to watch that. All right. Let's see what Boris has to share with us. All right. Ah, help me. An iron giant is coming. Oh no, the pain. This might be the end. Help. Ah, ha, ha, you fell for it. You humans are so gullible. Don't believe all that you hear. This bitch. Ah, please help. It's a bomb. I don't believe you this time. It's getting bigger and bigger by the second. If it explodes, I, I don't know what we can do. Aw, oh, man, did I get you again? I can't believe you fell for it twice. You need to be more skeptical. I am totally skeptical now, okay? I bet he's gonna do it a fucking third time. You gotta save me. I mean it this time. There's a Tonberry right over there. He's got a huge knife. He's gonna slice right into me. Hurry up and prepare for battle. Pfft. You've had enough? Oh, boy, the look on your face is priceless. This is great. I feel like he's taking advantage of Shinra's good nature. Hmm, you're angry with me? I'm sorry I laughed at you, okay? I won't do it again. Just please don't abandon me. If you do, I'll just wither and die. Ah, uh, got you again. I put on a serious act and you're all hooked in. You don't learn, do you? When people are this gullible, it's almost no fun. Okay. All right. Okay, Boris. Boris, I got your number. I got your number. Let's see what's up. Now, now, don't get all worked up. Just think of it as a life lesson. A life lesson to be tricked by a dick crab. Is that what's happening? See ya. Is he gonna cry wolf? He's gonna cry wolf. Yeah, me too, Shinra. Go back to the airship. Don't even turn around. Oh, help! No, Shinra? Mm-mm. Don't do it. I know it's a lie. Boris, you can take on that behemoth. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Oh, maybe he can't. Well, I suppose I'm known for lying all the time. Maybe it's some kind of divine retribution, but... I just wanted to be noticed, you know? Well, Boris, if you want to be noticed, maybe you should start a Twitch channel. Start streaming. Instead of lying all the time. Aw, oh, Shinra did come rescue him. Such a hassle. I'll keep it a secret. Oh, a secret that he actually needed help for once? No one would believe it anyway. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, that was a funny one. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. May all your rolls be a natural 20. All right, let's trap another. Do we have any larges? Oh, but we have a special. We have some mediums. Um, I guess we can use we can use one of the mediums. Um, there's a medium in Gaga's that we need. Oh, Calmlands too. I didn't mean to do Calmlands, but that's okay. There's a medium in Calmlands we need as well. Nash Horn. Okay, yes, that is what we needed. Let's mark him off on our list. Yes, you can come to join the Gull Wings. I can and will send a pic of a Nat 1 in Discord for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> please do, please do.
Okay, let's do our other large one that we've got. The Ochu. Okay, let's make our Ochu a mage as well. Some Ragnarok and some Ring. I just feel like Ochu, Ochu pretty strong. I don't know, like. Yeah, let's do Forest Watch. He might lose, but let's try it. The bot we used was broken on my server for a while and it took us an embarrassing long time to catch on that it was, wasn't just all of us having bad luck getting first across the board. Oh my God, that's too funny. Like the bot was literally broken on rolling too many firsts. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. We'll, we'll oversoul Amorphous Gel at some point. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just do a tournament. Standard cup. Go, Ochu. You got this. You got this, Ochu. Just kidding. Nobody saw that. <laughs> for real. For real. Nobody saw. Nobody saw Ochu's embarrassment. Oh my god. Ochu is weak. Ochu's really weak. He shouldn't be a mage. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's do him. Let's do him different. A uh, trap pod S. I think I have plenty. No, I need to get another L. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do this different. Let's give him the wall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try that. I know you can do it, Ochu. You can do it. Believe in you. Okay, let's try this again. Get him some levels. Okay, that's some damage now. That's some damage. Yeah, Ochu is deceptively weak. Oh. Oh, he's learned some... Okay. Why would you do that again? you They're already all statused up. There you go. Keep smooshing them. Yeah, he got this. Just hopefully we don't have to fight Forest Watch because I don't think he can beat the gel. I don't think he can beat the gel. That's okay, most of them can't. I don't know what's going on half the time, but I'll be damned if I ain't supportive. It's, it's true, Nikki, it's true. This though, I'm not actually, when you use the monsters, was we have to level them up a little bit to unlock the fiend tails, but like you don't control them. So literally just, the controller's in my lap, I'm not doing anything. All I can really do is give him a certain dress sphere and give him certain accessories. So to, in hope that he'll make the right decisions on how to fight the battles. But I can't, I can't make him for the fiends. But we get these cute little extra scenes that you only get if you play with the fiends and level them up a little bit. So of course I want to do that. Because, you know, I got to do the 100%. The right outfit can really make or break you. It's 100% true. Just like real life. Just like real life, the outfit and accessories is what can help the fiends win or not win. 100%. Good life advice that we're getting here from Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, yeah, we can get the SP one. All right, here we go. Rematch against Moonfang. You got it this time. You got it this time. If you look good, you feel good. That's right. If you look good, you feel good. You are good. You can do all the things with the right outfit.
Good thing these wolves keep missing, because they are so fast and so annoying. Oh, none of the status effects happened? Oh. It's his little skirt. Brings out the color in his tongue, true. <laughs> Makes the, the pool inside of him look particularly refreshing. I know you can't see it at this angle, but there's like a pool of water inside of his mouth. Yeah, see? You saw it a little bit there. Come on, just attack him. He's probably almost dead. There we go. Okay. Unamas. Okay, it's no fear. I think he might could beat this one. I think he might could beat this one. Yep, just keep doing that. There was definitely no reason to cure yourself, but okay. Ooh, they do a lot of damage. I'm glad I put on the defense uh, accessories. Mike could. What's the, there's nothing wrong with Mike could. There's nothing wrong with a good Mike could. He might could. Everyone should say Mike could. Like, just like everyone should say y'all. Although I feel like nowadays everyone does say y'all. I think that is, um, that has escaped the southernness. And everybody's recognized that y'all is just a good word. And everyone should use it. Nothing else hits like a good y'all. Alright, Ochino, get the other one. Alright, that was an unnecessarily dramatic way to get the other one, but you did it. I live in the South now, and the twang's been filtering into how I talk good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Nikki. I'm happy for you. Everybody lives in the south now, though, because it's so much cheaper. Okay. Let's see about the Ochu story. It appears beauty and luck don't go hand in hand. I died just as things were looking up. Then I thought I would look for romance in the far plane. But then I come to find that I've become a fiend. And a heinous fiend at that. Or hideous. And a hideous fiend at that. I'm sure they're responsible for this. They envied my beauty. But it's not their fault. It's not their fault that they were ugly. It was my fault for being so beautiful. Beauty such a sin. I was the star dancer on Tobley's stage. More beautiful, more skilled than all of the other dancers. My smile after a lavish performance stole the heart of the crowd. If you, you aren't too shabby yourself, High Summoner, but a word of advice if I may. Try to have more confidence in yourself. If you can do that, you'll blossom even more. Oh no. This is a beautiful lady, but she's not a beautiful, I can't, but she's not gonna be a beautiful lady if I know how these fiend tales go. Yes, I was popular, but that also meant I had many enemies. The top dancer before me, for example, she must have despised me for stealing the spotlight, but she should actually be grateful to me because I made her realize how ugly she really was. Now I realize she must have been the one to poison my drink. But that's okay, you see. I was too beautiful to live a long life anyway. The moon lilies that grow on the banks of the moonflow are so precious, don't you agree? One legend tells of a spirit, tells of the spirit of those who die tragically making their way here, becoming flowers. And I've made up my mind. I'm not going to the far plane just yet. I'll stay here and become the moonflow's no. I'll become the most beautiful flower in Spira, enchanting all that gaze upon me. Okay, okay. Ochu sounds low-key full of himself or herself. Oh my god, Jesus, yeah, true. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they really were in life. Guarantee they were not a beautiful woman. There's something else. They were a dancer though, so that's something.
beautiful. Now, let me join you. Hmm? Why can't they My legs won't move any further? Oh, they literally can't jump in. What the heck? I can't enter the water. Hey, Ashlyn. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much. Why, why can't I go in? We'll do a pin for you in just a second, Ashlyn. Why can't they go in? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? Who is it? Are the moon lilies talking? You must be joking. Have you seen yourself in a mirror? We can't let someone as ugly as you enter the moon flow. What? There's a river much more suited to you. Now you hold on. It may look like this now, but before... Only the souls of the beautiful may become moon lilies? What is ugly about you is not your exterior, but rather the soul that dwells within. Think about that for a moment. That is a sick fucking burn. Wow. These moon lilies are harsh. That's so terrible. I was wrong. For many nights after, Ochu cried and cried. It regretted the attitude it took towards others in its previous life. And on the morning of the tenth day, Ochu was gone. and in its place was a beautiful flower. It's huge. Oh, oh my God, perspective. What the heck? Okay, it was ugly on the inside Ochu. Oh my God, that's insane. That is insane. Okay, I liked that one. It was very funny. Oh my god, those moon lilies, they were just like, no bitch, you're rude. You can't sit with us. We only sit with nice people. <laughs> oh no, okay, well, while, while everybody's in an ad break, we'll pull a pin. All right, let's go trap another creature. What do we have? What, um, okay, we have some specials, some small, some mediums. Okay, there is one more medium we can get. Let's try to get that. Mount Gagazette. Yeah. Yay, we got the bomb. Okay, that's what we wanted. Someone set up us the bomb. The TV series they made after the movie was my favorite. I never really watched the TV series. I mean, I'm vaguely familiar with it, um, but, um, but I was a bit old for its target audience, so I never really watched it. But I do remember that there was the pink girl stitch. And she was very cute. Alright. Let's set up our team again. Alright, so we've got all the mediums. There's two more larges we need to catch and a bunch more smalls we need to catch. So we're not going to accept any more mediums. We're just going to accept, like, smalls and, um, 
and specials and larges. Really, I need a large. I need to only accept larges right now. Okay, so let's put, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, what do we want to do? <laughs> let's put the Bolt Drake in the party and then the Bully Cap. Yeah, let's do the Bolt Drake and Bully Cap. For how much rain there is today, my eyes are so dry. I feel like I need to blink a zillion times. And they've been like that, like, all morning. Okay. Bully cap, we're gonna make... We're gonna make our mage. So we're gonna give him the ring and the Ragnarok. It's raining there, too. Yeah, there's a big storm coming through, so it's probably, like, all over the southeast. But it was raining, like, all freaking night. Like, all night. And then woke up this morning and it was still raining. And it's been, like, so dark since we got up. Like, I even was like, oh my god, it's time to go get ready for stream. And I couldn't believe it. Because it just, outside was so dark, it just didn't look like it was time yet, you know? Alright, so there's our team. Um, let's enter the tourney. So, like, it was, all, it was like, oh shoot, it's like 11 o'clock. That's like only one hour until, oh. Oh, we're fighting Forest Watch first. Yay. Our foster puppy refused to go outside. Oh my gosh, poor thing. Poor thing. Yeah, when we had our dog, she was a little princess, too. She wouldn't go outside in the rain. She didn't even want to go outside if it had just rained, because she didn't want to get her paws wet. Little princess. God damn, Bully Cap died instantly. Well, we're not going to win, then. Because we need his flare. Yeah, that always fails. That always fails on the gel. Okay, let's try to do the tournament again. We won't. Get, hopefully, we won't get um, Forest Watch first time. Dang it! I didn't mean to accept that. Okay, hang on. Before we do this, I need to go dump some. Um, I need to go dump some pods. Okay, let's do. Because I need room for the some L ones. Okay, we don't need any more Embassade, so we'll trap there. No, he can't join. Uh, set trap pods. Let's just dump three of them. Let's just dump three of them. No. It's like that here, too, if he gets anything on his booties. He hops around on three legs like he's injured and he's just wet. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, my God. True. Dogs are so silly. All right, let's go enter the tournament. Standard cup. Yes. And we are only going to accept if we win um, larges. We're going to dump the rest because that's all we, we need. Two large trap pods still. All right, get him, guys. Come on, don't kill the bully cap so fast. Oh, nausea powder. I wish you would have flared. Yeah, these are machines. The powder's not going to really do anything. And he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, that didn't do much damage. Okay, okay. Why did you lightning them? Oh my god, these fiends. These fiends. Just do right. Okay, got rid of one. Yeah, our cats are indoor only cats though, so I have no idea how they do in the um how they do in the rain. I bet Oreo would actually be okay with it, and the rest probably wouldn't. Stop trying to nausea powder the machine, my god. 
You don't use that on Machina. Alright, round one done. Apparently out here all the shelters are so full they're turning away animals. Then people with surrenders just end up dumping their babies. Yeah. Yeah, that happens around here too. Uh, no. I'm waiting for L's. Yeah, that happens around here too. I mean, it's just, you know, in the South, there's a lot of income inequality. There's a lot of people that just... Oh, they killed the bully cap so fast. Um, there's a lot of people that just, they don't have a choice, like, they have to abandon their animals, they can't afford them, you know, and, um, and the shelters get really full. So that happens here, too. This foster was found on some train tracks with another chihuahua, but she was hit by the train. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, so wait, you're, so your foster is a chihuahua? Yeah, it's a pretty common story here, too. I think there's just a lot of that in the South, you know. That's why it's really important to get all of your animals spayed and neutered. He's a chihuahua mixed with Chinese crested. Oh my god. <laughs> Nikki! Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got the chi frame, but he's bald everywhere. Nikki. That dog is not a foster dog. You are keeping that dog. Do not, do not lie and say this is your foster. That's your new dog. That's your new dog. This, you know, you're not taking that dog back. You're not finding that dog another home. The heck? Are you kidding? I, I know. Like, you're just gonna fall in love with that dog. You are probably already in love with that dog. Chi frame, bald like a Chinese crested. The heck? What? Loki and my husband's fallen in love with him. He was adopted by a couple, but they gave him back a day later. Husband's already in love with him. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, Nikki. That's your dog. Stop calling it your foster. That's your dog. I'm not trying to be a foster fail. It's too late. It happened. It's happening. It is in the process of happening as we speak. And it's okay to be a foster fail. That's something that's okay to fail at. In fact, it's often good to fail at that. That's your dog. What's his name? What's the doggy's name? Who are we fighting now? Oh, Flying Circus. Okay. Oh, we might win the tournament because it's not Force Watch. Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Roni, Ralphie, oh my god. Oh my god. What a good name for a bald chihuahua, Ralph. Yes. Girl. That's your dog. Don't try to pretend. Don't try to pretend. I don't know, a bully cap might not get, be getting enough levels. Hopefully the fiend tail bonus will take care of him with um, getting his story finished keeps dying, poor thing. Just doesn't have enough defense, I guess. Not enough HP or defense. I mean, Nikki, the husband's already in love. That's the toughest barrier. So, you know, it's done. If no one takes him by mid-January, I'm keeping him. Cheese bond really hard, so letting him pack bond with us and just giving him up would be cool. Exactly. Exactly. No one's taking that dog. Just you. That's why I can't even foster. Because we have the four cats, so we're like at cat capacity. You know. Because if we fostered, we'd just keep them. It 
I used to foster all the time, but my husband's a softie and wants to keep everything. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> exactly. That's me. Uh, we definitely don't need an M. We've got all the M's. Okay. Um, we definitely got the Bolt Drake, I'm sure. Let's see if we also got the Bully Cap. Bean Tail. Yeah, not quite. Okay. Well, let's see the Bolt Drake. Ha! I did it! I kidnapped them! Three of them at that! I had my eye on that house for a long time. I just threw the kids in a sack and ran. Oh my god, he kidnapped children in a sack. Um, that young mother must be looking around for her kids right now. I wonder how much ransom I can get out of her. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fortune. Now that I took... T bleh, now that I look at them, these siblings look nothing alike. No resemblance to that pretty mother either. Are these kids really siblings? Ow! Ow, these brats are shooting their needles at me. And now they see me mad and just stand there with their mouths gaping open. Oh no, these are not... These are not human children. Do they even understand that they've been kidnapped? They definitely don't. Man, talk about hyperactive kids. Ugh, they keep pricking me. What did I do to deserve this? Did I pick a dud here? I have to return these kids to their mother before they do me in. Oh my god. Y'all know what these kids are. Y'all know what these kids are. Let's watch. Yeah. Oh my- <gasps> Next time, I'll kidnap a calmer kid. Adios! Is the stuffies! Oh my god, the stuffies get a get an extra story in the fiend tale. Where did you go? Um, I forget. I was playing with a stranger. Hmm. Mommy always says that you shouldn't follow strangers. She does say that. What do you want to do tomorrow? Shh, mommy's coming. They kidnapped Lulu's stuffies. Oh my god. What the heck? That's not what- I thought it was gonna be the Cactuars. Oh yeah, we need L. I thought it was gonna be Cactuars. The heck? That's too funny. Okay, let's go trap, um, let's go try to get one of the L's that we need. Okay, one of them is in Calm Lands. Uh, yes, we're on Calm Lands. Okay. Yeah, and a man toys, that's what we need. That was my favorite one so far. Lulu's stuffies. That's so cute. Alright, let's um... Let's put this guy in the party. Oh, not Berserker. There we go. Alright, let's go! Standard cup. Okay, don't die so much this time, Bully Cap, so we can watch your fiend tail too. Yep, except they're totally gonna die. They're both gonna die because it's freaking Forest Watch for the first battle again. Now, if Bully Cap flares him immediately. But no. But no, okay. This is a waste of time.
All right, let's enter the tournament again. Okay, ugly jam first. There we go. Now we can progress. Oh my god, you do too much damage. That's okay, this, my other guy can, can beat him up, my ogre. I don't know how to say his name. Rimthers? Rimthers? Is the H silent? Is it just, is it Rimthers? Maybe? He's an ogre type, so I do know that. At some point we'll level up Bully Cap enough. Yeah, probably just punch him, dude. Probably just punch him. All right, don't die this time, bully cap. Oh, dark proof, that's nice. Oh, there we go, that's what I want you doing, just flaring them. <sighs> he died again. Might have to give him some more defense, I don't know. He just can't survive. Even these easy packs. Nope, don't need an M. Okay, now who are we fight? Moonfang, okay. We can beat Moonfang with this team. Yeah, we're just gonna end up getting his his through the fiend tail bonuses because the heck. The heck he can't survive. So dry. Why? It's not dry outside. It's not dry in here either. But my eyes is dry. All right, one more. You got him. Yeah, punch him again. Just like that. Boom. There we go. All right, let's get him. Nope, don't need an M.
Uh, still not. Okay. I guess he's going to need another fiend tail bonus. All right. Well, we should have his. Yes. Okay. Don't even think of calling me Harry. I'm in search of legendary underwear. What? I've heard a tale that whoever acquires the legendary underwear will have hitherto unforetold power. It's a tale handed down from generation to generation. I'll bet you want to find them now, don't you? I found some. Appealing underwear. A chimera in Thunderplanes was wearing them. You could barely call it a battle. One smack and it was over. The underwear was mine. Charcoal leopard print sheen made of cotton? A bit smaller than I'd like, but the tight fit is beyond compare. Such breathable fabric, too. Oh my god. I guess you can do anything with the right underwear. Got some more fancy underpants. This pair I took from a tonberry on Mushroom Rock Road. The battle? Decent, I guess. Of course I won, no problem. Just ignore the scratches on my face. Red and white stripes. Fabric is silk? Perhaps a little on the large side, but that's fine. Never know when you might put on a few pounds. Hand wash only, though. I suppose that's the fate of high-class fabric. Wait, why does the Tonberry have the larger underwear and the Chimera have the smaller underwear? This does not add up. I finally found the owner of the legendary underwear. He's one of a, my kind, looking for underwear like me. It was quite a battle. We were eventually evenly matched. His fists were machine guns, but my arms of steel blocked each blow. For three days and nights we fought. It was a struggle for the ages, but I emerged victorious. A black and yellow tiger print made of fur? The perfect fit. It itches a little, but come on, tiger print. It brings out the ferocity within me. Oh, I totally understand this. How'd I get them? Easy. I just made him want to change out of them. Smart, wouldn't you say? But are these really legendary? They're itchy, and what's this? A scrap of paper? Unbelievable. It's a memo with the location of the true legendary underwear. Okay, let's see this legendary underwear. Let's see this. My long journey in search of ancient underwear. I finally about to come to an end. Yes, I'm finally about to get my hands on the legendary underwear. Looking back, it was quite a journey. I'm getting more excited by the moment. The legendary underwear that I've long dreamed of? My heart beats faster just thinking how comfortable they must be to wear. I'm sure the moment I put them on, I'll be greeted by an entirely new sensation, and a surge of galvanizing energy will race through my body. I'm finally here! In here, the ultimate undergarments. Huh? No, it's not here? The only thing I found was a letter? You have no need of apparatus. When you learn not to depend on such things, you shall discover the true power. Yes, of course! The true power is not gained through dependence on underwear. It's gained through feeling freeing both mind and body. Am I the one who seeks true power? I no longer have need of underwear. <laughs> NSFW? <laughs> Shinra! Shinra! The owner the owner of the legendary super pants has entered the fiend arena. What the heck? What the heck? I guess the, the true legendary underwear was the friends we made along the way. Uh yeah, we can get it. We can get that one. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> that was so silly. All right, um, let's use... Let's do this. Gold elemental, yes, we need you. The true origin of flying by the seat of your pants is magical underpants that make you fly. Oh my god, that's amazing. Is that true? Is that truly where the saying comes from, a story about magical underpants? K 
canon now. Okay, good. It's canon now. We've made it so. All right, Bully Cap's still in the party. Let's put uh, Nashhorn in the party. Okay. All right, now let's enter the tournament. Hopefully we're not, yeah, okay, Eggly Jam, good. Say so hopefully we're not fighting Forest Watch right first. No, yeah, good miss, good, good, good. I was like, don't go for Bully Cap so immediately. He's fragile. Stop! Oh my god. The freaking Heiza and kills him in one hit. That's what they did last time. Poor bully cap. Ad break, ad break. If you're not seeing an ad, thanks for being a subscriber. If you are seeing an ad, you have no idea what I'm saying right now, but that's okay. Secret message for subscribers only. I love you guys. I love my other followers too, but you guys as well. Why didn't my Alexa keep going off? It's gone off so many times today. Oh, flash flood warning. Yeah, it's been raining a lot, so I'm not surprised. We probably do have flash flood warning in several areas. Get him. That's revenge for Bully Cap. Uh, no. We need a large one. It's the only one I will accept at the moment. Yeah, keep going after Nashhorn. I don't go after the Bully Cap. Dang it. Again. All right, everybody's back from the ad now. Thank you all so much for watching that ad. I really do appreciate that. Um, you didn't miss anything except Bully Cap dying again. Um, and uh, and I like to do that so that when people are new to the stream and they come in, they aren't immediately hit with an ad. Uh, I don't think that it's, that it's right that, that Twitch does that, that I can't control whether I have, you know, whether I where my ads go. So I only get this choice. We either do this or we or we hit people with ads when they very first join the stream, which I don't like. Don't think that's good. Because then they can't even see if they like the stream. They've sat through, and it, and it sucks on Twitch, like as a viewer, it sucks when you sit through like a minute ad to just see if you even like the stream. And then you get there and it's like, oh, this isn't my vibe. Like, and I wish I could have known that instantly, you know? I think Twitch should just by default, like, let you into the stream without seeing an ad. Oh, hey, Geekstra, hello, hello, how are you doing this weekend? But yeah, I think Twitch should always, like, wait to surface an ad until you've watched a stream for, like, 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something, and then it should show you your initial ad, instead of, like, when you very first join a stream. I think that's stupid. Howdy, I'm doing great, and you, I'm doing fantastic. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way. This is my last stream before Christmas. This is my, uh, officially, kind of my Christmas stream. Because we're not going to be streaming over Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. It's chill. I'm doing some last minute Christmas shopping. And the stream's helping me focus. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. If you have not bought Christmas gifts, net, gifts yet, this is kind of the last minute right now. Come on, Nashhorn, you got this. Yeah, kill him. I wish Bullycap could survive so he could flare him, but you know. 
Thank Blort for Amazon Prime and two-day deliveries. Hell yeah. We do that as well. We even have it so that um, we have the garage deliveries turned on too. But they changed it so that that's not just free anymore. Like if you want to get the, the fast shipping and garage delivery at the same time, you have to pay like an extra $2. So you choose, like, do you want it fast or do you want it in the garage? We I usually choose just let be a little bit later so deliver to the garage. Just need to make sure the porch pirates don't get it before I do. You know, all in all of my years of ordering things, I have never once experienced porch pirates at any place that I've lived. And I've lived in lots of different kinds of neighborhoods at different socioeconomic levels. <laughs> and I've never experienced porch pirates. Never. So for y'all that have porch pirates in your neighborhood, like that sucks. But I don't know how I've avoided it, but I, I have always avoided it. Never once. Oh my god, they killed Bully Cap again! Don't know why they hate him so much. What did he ever do to them? Me neither, not yet. Oh, I hope we're not speaking it into existence, Geekstra, right? <laughs> I want to splurge by myself spicy toys a couple of years ago and someone stole one of them right off my doorstep. Well, hopefully they were happy with what they received. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the kind of thing porch pirates are really trying to go for. I live in a sketchy area. Yeah, even when I've lived in sketchy areas, like, I never experienced porch pirates, you know? And now I live in like a really nice neighborhood and I don't experience them either. And I've lived in, you know, middle grade, mid grade neighborhoods. Like, like I said, all different socioeconomic levels, all different. Um, and never experienced it, no matter what, like poor, rich, you know, medium, anytime. I wish I could have seen the look on their face when they opened it up for real. <laughs> for real. Like, I don't think that's the kind of thing they're going for most of the time. I'm just, I'm just gonna hazard a guess <laughs> that they were not trying to get your spicy toys. I live in a pretty nice neighborhood, but there's a lot of houses up the hill that are being rented out, so crime's been going up. Oh, I see, I see. Um, yeah, I guess we can take a special one. Okay, maybe we can do. Maybe we can do the Bully Cap's theme tail now, because he's got the bonuses. Cars get stolen all the time where I live. Um, so far, packages haven't been jacked. Even if they've been chilling outside the front door all day, lucky so far. Well, I feel like, like, like the idea of like the porch pirate thing is kind of silly to me, because you don't know what's going to be in the box. So how do you know if you're wasting your time or not? Whereas like carjacking, it's pretty, you pretty much know what you're getting looking at the make and model of the car or even like breaking into cars. Then you have time to like look through the stuff of what you're going to take out of the car. So like that kind of makes sense to me, like why a thief would do that. But the porch piracy, like it doesn't even make sense to me. Like I just feel like that Steve's being dumb and potentially like, and just not using their time properly, <laughs> you know? And I know that sounds like so crazy to think of it that way, but for real. Cars get stolen all the time, but in Thieves' Defense, people leaving their cars unlocked with the keys in the ignition. It's like begging someone to steal their car. I mean, Nikki, I cannot fully disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is it stolen? Well, no, no, it's still stolen. It's still stolen. It's just like, why would you do that? Why would you tempt fate like that? I don't know. That's silly. All right, let's go check out these fiend tails. Let's go check out these fiend tails and see. Can we do bully cap now? Okay, yes. Okay, perfect. Are you familiar with the Youth League headquarters? When I was human, I oversaw its construction. That building was a dream that our leader, Nuj, and I shared. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one. When the plans to build the Youth League headquarters first came up, Nuj and I decided that the building site should be where Operation Meehan took place. Then we had the idea to use a Machina gun destroyed in the battle with Sin as a League symbol. A symbol of a new start for the Crusaders, who were nearly annihilated on that fateful day. It was also to be a memorial to honor the souls of our fallen comrades. Oh, that's a nice story. I didn't know that was why for the Youth League. It's weird package roulette. Exactly. It's weird package roulette. Like, it seems like a waste of time. I don't know. I'm not a thief, so. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what kind of stuff I order. And, like, it's going to be totally random whether it's anything worth a thief or not, you know? When the construction plans were finalized, crusaders that were scattered across Spira flocked to the site. They had all lost so much, and they all carried painful memories within their hearts. 
but they would all but they would not avert their eyes from the past. They would draw strength from it and start anew. Construction began at a fevered pitch. It was Anuja's ideal and the building of this foundation that united the Crusaders as one again. After Nuj appointed me leader of the construction project, I worked tirelessly day and night, but in the midst of the construction, an accident would take my life. My regret for not overseeing the project to its end is what binds my soul to spirit in this form. How I yearn to bring forth a new age with our leader in that place, but I cannot allow my soul to linger in spirit forever. I shall go see the dream that we built one last time and then be on my way. Oh, this is going to be a sweet one. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. That's nice, we help him climb up there. Magnificent! The swords we used at Meehan are buried within the base pillars of these headquarters. I love that. Oh, I'm like, the souls of our comrades who perished in that battle. I'm tearing up thinking of Operation Meehan from 10. Will most certainly continue to offer their blessings and protection. News. Take good care of the Youth League and Spira. Long live the Youth League. Oh, I love this one. This creature seems like a fun guy. I see what you did there, Geekstra. I see what you did. Koneko's trained me well on the puns. Oh, yay, we need this. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see the Nashorns one. Well, that was no fun, let me tell you. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be wandering around Spira. Thanks a lot for that help, but I have to say that it was really terrifying. It was one of those young ones that picked it up. When you touch it, there's this bright blue light and it cures all injuries. People went wild. Well, I, for one, never bought into it. Well, that's just how safe spheres work. That's just how they work. But it turns out the rumors were true. A frail old man touched it and became healthy as a man half his age. So when I got injured, I was inclined to go touch it. A line had already formed in front of it. I had to wait two hours for my turn. Finally, I thought, I can say goodbye to the pain. I put my hand forward and then suddenly, there was this huge sound and I was blown sky high into the air. My last memory of it was melting in the blue light. Next thing I know, I'm at the peak of Mount Gagazet. Give me a break already. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's about. I've never seen a safe sphere blow up. Daddy! Daddy, play with me! Yeah, play with your kids, dude. Don't be a deadbeat. I will not. Rude. Daddy is tired. You're no fun, Daddy. I agree with those kids. You should play with your kids. I still wonder sometimes what it was exactly. But in the end, I'm just a fiend. I don't understand complicated stuff. But it makes you think, maybe there is such a thing as too convenient. If I can continue to enjoy this quiet life I have now, that's enough. That's how I feel, honestly. Huh. Huh. 
Hey, Daddy. I found a big rock. It is a safe spear. Oh my god. What? It's all shiny and pretty. Daddy, come on, let's play. Whoa. That's it. All of you, you're in danger. Get away from there now. Excuse me. I will protect these children. Uh, again? Wait, why is it teleporting him? Daddy went away somewhere again. Where now, I wonder? What? We don't even get to know where he went? Okay. I don't understand. Okay, we need to use that large one in Xanarkand. Yeah, that store, that one confused me. Okay, let's use this one. And this is the last large one we need. Yes, Behemoth. Okay, fabulous. We're getting there. We've caught almost all that we need. All right. Let's see what else. Mm. Okay, I know what I want to do. We do need another chocobo. So we're going to try to use our small ones in um, Mihen High Road to get a chocobo. Yeah! Okay, the fiend tail's complete, but we need one. Okay, and I think that I'm full now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're full. All right, so we've got... Let's do the Adamant toys. Okay, let's do these two, the two large ones that we have, Behemoth and Adamant toys next. <laughs> yeah, let's make him just really beefy. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll fight the tournament. Okay, Moonfang first. All right. You should be able to beat them, no problem. I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. Y'all can watch this. He hasn't killed one yet? What's wrong with you, Adamant Toys? Oh, you got a Snivy. That's a good one, Geekstra. Snivy's fun starter. Does the Adamant Toys not do a lot of damage when he hits? Oh no, he's doing damage. Okay, he's just taking a while. He's just slow. He's slow turtle. He's slow turtle. 
That's okay. You don't have to be fast, mister. Wait, he's not attacking at all. What's happening? He doesn't even have the bar underneath him. Does he only attack when it's a counter? Okay, I don't get what's happening. Let's run away. Was that happening the whole time? Oh wait, there he goes. Now he's gonna do something. Hopefully it's escape. Oh, Tremor. Okay. I don't know why he was frozen for so long. What happened? Was he like asleep and I just didn't see the little Z on him or something? I don't know. Dogs must have done something to him. that dog. Okay, like maybe one more hit should kill it. we go. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get... So we only have S's left. We just have four S, four small ones that we need to catch, so I think that's fine. Okay, now what are we doing? Flying circus. Okay. You can do this, Adamant Toys. I believe in you. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't kill the birds. Yeah, the dog must have done some kind of status effect to him that made him stop. And I just didn't realize it. Like the way it looked or whatever. Bye. That was a much faster fight. That was better. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now what are we doing? Shell Squad! Have we fought Shell Squad? I have not fought Shell Squad. This must be one of the ones that's been added from doing the theme tales. Come visit me. You wanna come say hi to the people, lady? Come on here. Go say hi to the people. I'll give you more pets up on the desk. I don't think she's interested. You can't rush eye today, lady. You can't rush eye today.
Maybe I just haven't seen the three Bicolettes in a long time. All right, let's go check out his fiend tail. Oh, there you are, lady. There you are. Right in time to block the screen so that I can't see the fiend tail. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see that little tail there? That's good. Her butt's on the screen. There you are, lady. Hey, before we read this, want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. You say, hello, I'm lady. I'm a little kitten. I'm going to turn four, no, three in April. I'm two right now. Hello. Lady's very cute. Lady's very cute. Oh, she shed it all over me. There's hair everywhere. I know. Hey, baby. Okay, let's read this. Thank you, thank you. This is this is one of our oops babies. This is one of our oops babies. She's got a brother named Oreo. All right, lady, we're gonna read this. You ready? Personal log. Not a cloud in the sky today. It's been a week since we set sail from Kilika. Plan to buy a coral necklace for my wife and Besaid. She'll love it. What should I get for my son? Personal log. The winds were a bit stronger today. With our holes filled up with Besaid cargo, we set sail back to Kilika. Even after years of sailing, I still feel slightly anxious when leaving dry land. But the feeling is quickly replaced by excitement for the next journey, or to see my family again. Personal log. Such heavy rain. In all my years, I have not seen a storm this bad. How long since we lost control of the ship? I don't even know what direction we're going in. Oh no. Um, they say that sin appears during storms like this. We must get through it quickly. Personal log. The fierce storm has taken out the lamp in my cabin. I write this final log entry under the light of a single candle I have left. The ship is listing, and the water's coming in from everywhere. It's only a matter of time before we sink. We've decided to put our fate in the hands of this ship. The Adamantois... Oh, the ship's name is an Adamantois. Oh. We need a miracle. Shinra analysis. That's as far as I've been able to decipher. Oh, man. This guy was a sailor on the Adamantois. The storm has passed. Kilika, I have returned. Ah, there's the port. We're saved. Oh, but you're a fiend now. We're almost there. Hold on. Look, the people in Kilika. They're waving. Do you see them? Those are our families. Yes, I can see them. We've returned home. The Adamantois has returned to port two years behind schedule. The crew was laid to rest with care by the families they left behind. Oh, he drug the ship back to port. Oh my god, that one was sad. That one was so sad. Alright. Um. We have a slot open, so let's trap. Okay. Calm lands. There's one there, one small one we need. And there he is, Araman. Yes. All right, mark him off the list. All right, so we're gonna do our last large one for chapter one, Behemoth.
Quiznos shopping is done. Hell yeah. Doesn't that make you feel so accomplished? Oh no, not Battle Simulator. What am I doing? Oh, excuse me. We're doing a tournament. Standard Cup. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start out with the Machine Gunners. We haven't fought these in a long time, too. If you're seeing an ad right now, thank you for hanging out. If you're not seeing an ad right now, thank you also for hanging out. I appreciate it. That means you're a sub. And we love you for that. Come on, just attack him. He's almost dead. You attack him again, you'll probably die the next hit. Stop Kelkinesis saying just attack. You can do this, Behemoth. Just attack him. Oh, I thought that would have been enough. Okay, one more probably. Thank you so much for watching the ad. If you're just coming back from the ad, I really appreciate you. You doing that is very helpful so that people who come into the stream new do not have to watch ads immediately. Quiznos, I ate there yesterday. Yummy. You know the Quiznos, the Quiznos is here in um in my area. It used to be like so freaking good, and then like they went super downhill. Oh my god. I feel like there's still cat hair like all over my face. It's all over the glove that I pet her with. Like look at this. Look at that. It's a ridiculous amount of cat hair. And it doesn't even look. It looks. It's more in real life even than the cam than the camera picks up. It was founded here in Colorado. Really. I did not know that. Well, the Colorado ones, must, Colorado ones, must be really good. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Moonfang. Okay, beat him up, Behemoth. Yeah, the Quiznos here used to be really good. Yipotle, Qdoba, Noodles and Company, Quiznos, Smash Burger. Oh my god, lots of things were founded in Colorado. I am not familiar with Noodles and Company, but I know Chipotle, I know Qdoba, Quiznos, and Smash Burger. I like me some Smash Burger. That place is really good. I don't get it super often, but I love it. Chipotle's okay. The Chipotle close to me, they mess up the order all the time, so we don't order from them anymore, because it's literally never correct. Never. Ever. And I don't really understand, like, how that's possible. Like, they're reading a ticket. So I don't get why it's always wrong, but it's always wrong. I wish we still had Quiznos here. Yeah, I don't even know if we have Quiznos here anymore, but they really started sucking, so... It's okay that they're not here anymore. But I don't even- I don't know where one is. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Remember the old Quiznos commercials? We like the moon! It's from that same guy. The moon is close to us. Yeah, that's um, Joel Veach. Oh no, Forest Watch is up next. 
Yeah, they had a Quizzos commercial that was the same as the We Like the Moon video. Oh, the mm 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 toasty. I remember that. Yeah, with the puppets, you mean the little creatures, right, Nikki? And there he goes, because he's about to get smooshed. Yep, down to one HP. And then he's done. I fucking hate you, Amorphous Gel. You're the worst. I remember seeing Jack in the Box commercials when I lived in Miami. We didn't have that chain. Yeah, we don't have a Jack in the Box either. I've eaten there before, though, but just, we don't have one here. And then moving to California where we did, and then finally getting to eat there. Yeah, I've only eaten, um, the other one that's like that is, um, shoot, what's it called? Where everything's, like, animal style? What is that place called? It's in California. Anyway, I ate there once when I was in California. It was fine. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, you know what I'm saying? But I cannot remember what it's called now. It's like they serve everything animal style, and it's like a California burger place. Wow, he's, he's surviving kind of a while. Wasting turns with telekinesis. Rainforest Cafe, no. I've eaten it at multiple Rainforest Cafes. Those places used to be fun. In and out, that's the one, Ash. You got it. Ash knew what I was trying to say. In and out, yeah. I've only eaten it in and out once. It was when I went to um when I went to California. We went to um BlizzCon and then we went to Disneyland. And we ate it at In and Out. And I've never eaten there since. I've only been back to California only one other time though. I went to San Diego on a work trip. but it just kind of a lot to get out to the West Coast. I don't know what animal style is. It was like basically like relish and, and sauce and cheese and like all the good stuff, just all over the fries or like served on the burger or whatever. It was good, but it wasn't amazing or anything. It was nothing like, it was nothing like too crazy as far as like goodness. The best fast food burger in my personal opinion is, um, oh, and there he goes, um, is, uh, oh, shoot, what's that place called? It's close to me, hang on. Culver's, that's the place. Culver's is the best. Culver's is, is the best fast food burger, period. No one even comes close to competing with Culver's. Yes, I know I lost, I know I lost. It's stupid forest watch. Okay, did we get enough for Behemoth's tail? Behemoth! Yes, we did. Okay, sweet. Okay. California has Wiener Schnitzel, which if you like limp fries, it has the best fries. I do not like limp fries. <laughs> Can't say that I do, but that's definitely a choice. At least like they're committing to the type of fries instead of them being limp on accident. The only fast food place I've ever seen that didn't sell burgers. Oh, what does it sell? Like sausage and, and schnitzel, I guess. Wiener schnitzel, that would make sense. All right, let's read this fiend tale. I have just a small dream to sell balloons. Don't laugh. I've never had much in the way of friends. So I figure maybe if I sell balloons, I can make some friends. So I'm going to train to become the best balloon seller I can be. Some bombs from Kilika bought me a bunch of balloons today. Red, orange, blue, large and small. One of the older bombs has been selling balloons for 20 years. He was kind enough to give me some advice. He told me each balloon stays afloat for a different number of days. The Machina in the desert helped me dig up a pump to put gas into the balloons. They just shrugged off the heat like it was nothing. You can always count on them. They didn't seem to be scared of me, but I don't think they shared my enthusiasm either. Be that as it may, it 
it's thanks to them I got this pump and I am one step closer to my dream. The Hypello taught me how to properly insert gas into the balloons. It's harder than it looks. Speedily like dispatching a foe, sweetly like wooing a girl, something like that. Before I left, they showed me a Hypello dance. A little creepy, but I suppose it had its charm. I must admit, spirit is full of all types. I've come a long way, but there's still something that's worrying me. Yeah, looking like I do, I think I might scare the customers away. All right, let's see if he scares the customers away. Hot dogs? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know of a hot dog fast food place. That's unique. Once upon a time, there was a rather old behemoth. His name was Behemoth, and his dream was to become a balloon vendor. A behemoth named Behemoth. On his journey to become a full-fledged balloon vendor, he met and partied with many people, and finally realized his dream of opening a balloon shop in the woods. Balloons! Balloons for sale! The sales pitch is perfect, too. I wonder if I'll make some friends. Oh, I hope some customers come by soon. Oh, gosh. This poor thing. Oh, there's some customers. Oh. Balloons! Balloons for sale! <gasps> oh no, they ran! What is that? He's selling balloons? What, what should we do? Should we go buy some? But it's a behemoth! It's scary! Maybe it's trying to lure us closer so it can eat us! I'm scared! I should have known this would happen. Oh, poor behemoth. Wow, look, they have balloons for sale. Uh, wow, yeah, they look amazing. Oh, the kindergartens aren't scared. A human child? It's not afraid of me? The kindergartens aren't afraid of anything. Look at these, all these balloons. Wasn't it hard to carry them yourself? Wow, they're all so pretty. They're much prettier than the ones in Luca. Oh, what should I do? There's too many to choose from. Okay, I'll take the red one. Hi there. Welcome. The other customers are back. Go buy balloons. Go do it, go do it. Looks like fun. Wanna go see? I'd like some balloons, please. <gasps> His dream come true. Everyone buy balloons. And so, in the woods that day, the grand opening of Behemoth's balloon shop went off without a hitch. Balloons, balloons for sale. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh, that was good. I love Jack in the Box. I ate there a few times a week while I'm doing deliveries. Yeah, we don't have one here. I'm not familiar with Jack in the Box. Um, is it as good as Culver's? That's my standard. Is it as good as Culver's? <laughs> if it's anything close to Culver's, I might like it. All right, who do we want to put in the party? Okay, we have one more medium one we haven't done. Bomb. He's going to be annoying, I can tell, because he's going to blow up. So we'll put him and we'll put the fly eye. Get it, Karen! Hell yeah. Thanks, Nikki. I'm gonna get it so good. Okay, I don't think there's any point in putting accessories on the bomb because he's just gonna blow himself up. Like, right? Let's go look at his abilities. Yeah, Charon. He's just gonna blow himself up. Anyway, I guess I'll put a crystal bangle on him. And... I don't know. And a ring for flair. What's nice about Jack is that they're open 24-7. You can eat anything on the menu at any time. Oh, I love that. That's my favorite kind. I have 2k bits and need to spend them somewhere. Hell yeah. Spend them up, Nikki. Spend them up. I think I have one bit thing in there that's like for wasting your bits. It's tax for the queen. 
So if you want to give Queen some bits, she'll she'll never know, and she doesn't care, but she loves to collect them and, and hoard them, like tax, like a tax. My favorite fast food chain ever was Pollo Tropical in Southern Florida. The owner refuses to let people buy the franchise and move outside of Southern Florida so you can't get it anymore. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Jeez. That's kind of cool of them, though, honestly. Like, that's really principled. You know, they don't want to sell it and not be theirs anymore. Balsamic tomatoes, mojo roasted pork. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Nikki. That sounds amazing. Oh, my God. I want it. Um, okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, I need to trap somebody. Okay, we only have Xanarkin smalls left. So let's throw some smalls out in Xanarkin. All right, white elemental. Yes, that's one of the ones we need. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it this way. The only way the bomb's gonna get it, I think, is from from the fiend tail bonuses at the end. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Fly Eye can win. Of course it's Forest Watch, our favorite. Yay. There's no point in this. There's no point. There's no point. I've got some errands friends. So you have a great holiday season. See you next year, Geekstra. See you next year. I hope you have an amazing holiday and so much fun and have lots of relaxation and delicious food and nice gifts. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay, we're gonna try that again without fighting Forest Watch immediately. Let's go. Wait, did it say Forest Watch again? It totally did. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. I want to see if the bomb flares. Nope. He just, just smacked him. That is useless. You gotta cast your flare. Hi, lady. I heard your little meow. What's up? Yeah, Charon just makes him explode. And I know Fly Eye cannot beat that guy. What is it, lady? You gotta come over on this side if nobody touch you. I can't reach you over there. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try to go in the tournament one more time? Because what the heck? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. Okay, anyways. Let's try one more time to not get Forest Watch. Okay, Flying Circus. There we go. Maybe Fly Eye can beat up Flying Circus. Meow, I know. You're a cat. Yeah, meow. I don't think the microphone's picking up the meows. I think it's too soft, but she like keeps looking at me and meow, meow. Come here. Why you gotta stand just out of reach of the pets? I know you want some. And then she flops on the floor where I definitely can't reach her because she's laying down now. Silly kitty. Oh my gosh, it's just too cute. Hey, oh, oh, there we go. Up here again, where I can't see the screen. Luckily, 
they're doing a battle, so I don't need to see it. What? What you doing? Being cute. That's what you're doing. Oh, there you go, Fly Eye. Get the other one. Get the other one. He can do it. He can do it, right, lady? He can totally do it. Oh, hello. Hi. Give me headbutts. Yeah. Yay, fly I won. I knew he could do it, ladies. I knew he could do it. All right, what's next? Oh, Forest Watch that we can't beat. Fabulous. Isn't that great, lady? Isn't that great? Let's see what happens. Probably nothing. If the bomb would just flare the gel, just flare the gel, you can do it. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Exactly. And the fly eye does decent damage, but like, it's gonna do the squisher, yep. And then it's gonna do a, a magic spell and then he's gonna die. Wasting turns on silly things, like telekinesis. The flying guy looks like a mix between the dude from Monster Zinc and the green ghosty from Ghostbusters. Oh my god, he does. He totally does. Yeah, the giant eyes totally do look like um, a monster, the Monster Zinc character, Mike. Because they all have that same model, just with different colors. And he's dead. Okay. Yeah, it's so hard while I'm leveling up the bomb because he's like so useless because he's just gonna char on. Um, maybe. What if we unlearn Charon? And hopefully he doesn't relearn it too quickly? I feel like he's just gonna level up and immediately relearn it, but maybe that will be helpful. Unlearning Charon right here. So at least he doesn't have it at first. So he can do something something.
Does he not have enough MP to do a flare? Is that why he's not doing it? this up just thinking like how the heck am I gonna do this because I've got to put the bomb with a small one for so we can have a friend maybe the fly eye is not a good friend I don't know get him to win Oh, now it's Forest Watch. Okay. Let's do a speed up. I wish it would speed up the animation of the freaking... Um... Oh, he flared him! <gasps> oh, they beat him! Fuck yeah! The speed did something. The speed did something. Okay, now you just gotta beat up that guy. But he's gonna die from his poison. Oh! Oh, he lived! Oh, because the fly eye was poisoned. Okay, okay, they beat Forest Watch. Fuck yeah, okay. You got this, guys, you got this. They're doing so good. Easy final, come on. Yeah, telling him to unlearn Charon was helpful. He has not relearned it quite yet, so that's good. But there he goes. He learned Charon. Okay, so we have to unlearn it again. Don't you go do it now. Don't you immediately go Charon right after you learned it. Just kill him a normal way. You do not need to sewer slide. Unnecessary. Come on, kill it. Kill it before the bomb decides to char on again. Wait, he has 6 MP. Does Charon take MP? No, it doesn't. There, cause there, he, there he fucking goes. There he goes. Good job, bomb. Good job. This is so unnecessary. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we won. And we did get the fiend tail bonus, so that's helpful. Okay, let's go look. My grandmother used to scare me with her tales of if you don't behave, you'll turn into a fiend. 
To think that she was right. Now what am I supposed to do? Oh no, this fly one's gonna be silly. I can feel it. But she also used to say, you'll be made into something that reflects your sins. And that's why I look like this now. What's with the big bat wings and big bulging eye? I look so ugly. No girl would ever give me a second glance. Don't you think this is a little much? I mean, I don't think that I did that many bad things. You want to know just what I did? Nothing you should worry yourself about. Just, you know, guy stuff. Kind of sounds like I should be worried. Hang on. With these wings, I can fly anywhere. And with this eye, lets me see so clearly. Gull wings, I think that I've gotten back my will to live. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh no. Do we want to know? Do we really want to know? I don't know if we really want to know. I've come seeking thrills. And off I go. Oh, this is the hot springs. Oh no. He's just like the Kowirl. He's just like the Kowirl we did. Ah, oh, I see someone. Yeah, this is the one thing I can't give up. I've become a fiend already. What could they possibly do to me now for peeping? What? Don't peep. Don't be such a weirdo. Oh my gosh, he's in the water trying to hide. Oh yeah, this is nice. Okay now. Maybe I'll get a little closer. Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do it. They're going to catch you. Yeah, dude. That's what you get. You shouldn't have been peeping in the first place. It's only your fault that you saw what you didn't want to see. That was a nice bath. Like, that's the risk you take. I got a little, little rowdy in there. I feel rejuvenated. Bahaha. -ha. Grandma sure packs a wallop. You deserved that, dude. You deserved a grandma punch. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see if we can do um, the bomb. I don't think so. I think he's probably not ready yet. Oh no, he is ready. Perfect. Okay. Hey, do you like Blitzball? What team? I'm a fan of the Besaid Aurochs. They used to not be that good, but these days they're championship contenders. Yeah, the Luka Goers are a good team, but you should keep your eye on the Aurochs too. I mean, once we join the Aurochs, the Goers won't stand a chance. That's right, when I grow up, I'm going to be a Blitzball player. With the Aurochs, of course. Did you see Captain Walker's retirement match two years ago? That's when we decided to be players. Oh, I actually have this partner who I team very well with. We would be, we would practice on Besaid's beaches until dusk. We vowed to join the Aurochs together. I wonder how he's doing. I mean, I'm a fiend now, but I hope he's still training. I hope you're getting many minis for these ads. I hope you buy yourself something pretty cool. Oh my god, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I'm not. They give it's pennies. It's literally this is the only way I can make it so that when people first join the stream, they don't get hit with an ad, you know? It's not. I would turn off the ads altogether if Twitch let me. They don't give me that option. He was real shy, you know. He wasn't good at mingling, so he'd just stand around by himself. So I went over to him and said, let's blitz. I mean, we were just sort of playing pretend, but but when he shot the ball, everybody just watched in awe. When he tries, he's really good, you know. 
After that, he and I became the golden duo. No one in Besaid was able to stop us. One time, we even scored a goal off of Keepa. Hey, I heard my old partner hasn't been practicing lately. He's always just staring out at the ocean. I guess he can't get into the groove without me around. Well then, I guess it's time for a golden duo reunion. Okay, let's reunite this guy with his friend. Oh, is that him? That little kid right there? Just staring at the Blitzball players. Hey! What's with the long face, huh? You're slacking off during training again. How do you expect to ever join the Aurochs if you keep slacking off? Oh my god. Now get up! Time for training! But... My friend wandered off somewhere. Fine. Here. He become Blitzball. I'm back. <gasps> the boy, oh my god. The boy that wanted to be a Blitzball. He's a Blitzball. He achieved his wish. Now kick hard. That's my headcanon that this is the boy that wanted to become a Blitzball. Okay. And he did it. He became a Blitzball for his friend. You can do it, kid. The fearsome twosome are back, right? Where? Where are you? Oh. Nice shot. Oh, he doesn't know that's his friend. The boy would one day perfect the burning shot and lead the Besaid Aurochs to a championship. Maybe. I believe in him, I think he can do it. Oh my gosh, I liked that one. Okay, let's see who we can put in the party next. So we're down to just our small ones. Um, yeah, let's do, all right. So let's put Agma, um, Ariman, and Dive Beat in the party. So we're gonna actually have a three fiend team. Haven't had a three fiend team in a minute. Okay, for dive beat, let's do yeah, let's do Iron Duke and Crystal Fangle for Ariman. Wait, who else? What's the other one? Agma. Okay, for Agma, let's do Adamantite and Iron Duke. And then we'll make Ariman our caster. There we go. Okay, we should have two slots. Yes, we have two slots. Okay. And there's only two fiends left to catch, so let's go let's go try to catch them. And okay, they are both in Xanarkind. There we go, there's one, a knoll. Yes. And the next one. Ooh. 
is Gecko. Okay, so that is all the fiends for chapter one. We just need to level up these last ones so we can see their um, their fiend tails. All right, but let's do this. I'm gonna go save really quick, and we are gonna take a little break. I need to stretch um, and do some things. I will not be gone long. Oh, yes. I will not be gone long, but I'm going to let y'all watch some cute cat videos while I go. And for y'all watching the recording on YouTube, I say to you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.